Hello everyone, welcome to InReel. My name is Matt, and today I'm gonna to show my three favorite fishing knots. The first knot I'm gonna do is called the clinch knot, and this is a great knot to teach children as it's very simple to tie, and it's generally the first knot that most fishermen learn. You're gonna go through the eye of the hook and then create a loop. Pinch the loop and you're gonna wrap around anywhere from four to nine times, depending on the thickness of your line. The thinner the line, the more wraps you want, the thicker the line, the less you need. And you're gonna take that tag end and go right back through that loop. And then you're going to pull it down. And this is where you would generally moisten or wet the knot as with all knots, and then you pull it down, get it tight, cut off your tag end, leave about an eighth of an inch or so, and there's your simple clinch knot. And this one tends to hold a pretty good amount of strength, and it's very, very simple to tie. I tend to use this one with my fly fishing to tie on my dry flies. The second knot we're gonna tie is called the Palomar knot. It's a very universally strong and well-accepted knot for important terminal tackle. And you're gonna start by going through the eye of the hook, pull out a good amount, and then you're gonna go back through the same way you went in to create a loop. You can see it's sliding back and forth on this loop. And then you're gonna do a overhand knot and pull the loop through. And what you end up with is this loop on this side. The signature part of this knot that most people know is that it's gonna go over whatever you're tying into it. So in this case, it's gonna go over this hook, but if you had something larger, you would have to make this loop larger to contain that entire, say for example, giant swim bait. So we're gonna pull the hook through and start to tighten this down. And then as we get a little bit of it tightened up, I like to pull the loops out to help prevent burn. So I just keep pulling them as I'm pulling it tight. And you'll see we eventually end up with this one larger loop. This is where you would wet the knot and make sure that you do not have loops on either side of the eye of the hook. They want should all be vertical right above the eye. And then you're gonna tighten this down and there are two things you need to tighten, your main line, and then secondly, you need to tighten your tag end. Trim it down to about an eighth of an inch or so. And there you have your Palomar knot. And again, this knot is very strong, and the one caveat is that you have to tie it over the entire length of whatever bait you're using. And I'll show that here next. So now I'm gonna show you the Palomar knot. This time, we're gonna do it over a large walking dog stick bait. So one way that you can start this is instead of going with the tag in first, you can just fold your line in half, put that loop through there, and then that gets you started right away with your sliding loop. And then you're gonna to wanna to do an overhand knot like before in your main line. And then this is where you have to make sure this loop coming off has to be big enough to go over this entire bait. So as you can see, I'm putting that entire bait, being careful with the hooks, the entire bait goes through. Get that piece off there. And then now, as you said before, you're gonna start to tighten everything down. I like to pull these loops out, keep them clean. And then as you're getting closer, here's where you would moisten your knot or wet it. And then you're gonna pull everything nice and tight. Again, there's two parts to tighten. You have your main line and then your tag end. And then you're gonna cut this, leaving about an eighth of an inch tag. And as you can see, I have a Palomar knot 
going directly to the bait and this gives you significant strength. And the third knot we're gonna tie is my personal favorite. This is the trilene knot and a lot of people consider this to be an improved clinch knot. You're gonna start by going through the eye of the hook, pull out about a good six inches and you're gonna go through again in the same direction and this is gonna create a nice loop. You're gonna pinch the loop and both lines together and you're gonna wrap based on the thickness of your line anywhere from four to nine times. I will do four times with this 30 pound test. And then all of this, with it still in hand, you're gonna take your tag and go through that loop, both loops actually. And then as you start to cinch this down, this is where you would again moisten your knot and you're gonna continue tightening it, pulling it down until you get nice seated knot. Trim off your tag end to about an eighth of an inch or so. And there is your trilene knot. And the reason why it's one of my favorites is because this tag end, when tied correctly, will actually point down versus pointing up or straight out to the side. So that gives you the benefit of when this is pulled through the water, especially with bass fishing, and make sure that you don't get a bunch of moss and algae hooked on that tag end. Thanks for watching.